Well, this is a relief. Why? Well, when you said bachelor's night out, I thought you might have been talking about us going to a cowboy bar with spittoons or something. Well, you're from Oklahoma. It has to manifest itself sometimes, somehow, right? Welcome to Inferno. What are you guys doing here? Boys well, not out. Uh, table for two, please. Uh, Non-spitting. <laughs> Excuse me. Josh Lewis speaking. Mrs. Lewis here. Well, I hope you're on your way home because your brother's scaring me. You're not talking political theory with him, are you? Uh, no, geography, actually. Uh, when are you coming home? I miss you. Coronation is in two days, and I'll be home soon after that. Josh, we have a deal. Really? We have a commitment and a letter of intent. We are rebuilding the San Cristobal waterfront. You, you know, once I get home, we need to sit down with Billy and come up with a real budget. Great, we'll do that. Um, listen, do you know anything about Richard and Cassie, Reaver's Ward? No, no sign of them yet. Is Edmund looking for them? Probably, but I, I don't think he has any intention of hurting them, Josh. He just doesn't want them to ruin his coronation. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that would like to ruin that coronation. I, in fact, I bet you're glad that I'm not there. Is it always going to be like this? You know, working together on this, this project? No, Olivia, I'm sure I'll get used to the idea of being in business with Edmund and Alan. And hey, if, if not, I'll just uh, forget every once in a while. Could you stop that? You're in business with me, OK? Alan is floating us alone. Edmund is recommending us to economic development. They don't have a shred of control. I suppose that helps a bit. Good. Tell Reva not to worry about Cassie. She's with Richard. I'm sure the two of them are going to be fine. Cassie? Cassie and Richard won't be safe as long as Edmund sees them as a threat. Look, he's not a stupid man, Josh. He understands that if he hurts them in any way, it would damage him politically. Well, that's great that his self-interest is involved. Yes, it is. You know, that's the one thing you can always trust with Edmund. That's why we have this spectacular deal. It's going to be a giant boon for this country. Well, I can't wait to hear the stipulations he's put in. What do you mean? Oh, come on now. Just, just, just tell me about him. You know, what, what does he want? A 20-foot statue of himself in the harbor? Or maybe a, a kickback of some kind? Maybe his initials on every building. How would that be? You know, he hasn't thought about the statue, and that surprises me. Maybe I should um, suggest it. No. Olivia, forget the coronation. Come home. I miss you. I miss you, too. But I really want to get things solidified here. And you know something, Josh? I don't want to miss this coronation. It's a big moment for my country. And, and, and this wonderful designer is sending over all these great dresses for Beth and me to choose from. And it always comes down to the dresses, doesn't it? Of course. Uh, you know something? I hear them coming. So can I, I call you later? OK. Have fun. So, Josh, did Liv say when she's coming back? In a few days. Ah, damn. I want her to be at the party. What party? Oh, I'm throwing a party for Mara for the Big One Aid. Really? Well, what, what did you have in mind? <laughs> oh, you know, pin the tail on the donkey, pinata, maybe a clown. <laughs> that sounds perfect. No, don't worry. You'll like it. You'll have fun. I'm invited. Of course. I'm not an ageist. All ages are welcome. You just got to promise not to be boring. I'll do my best. Oh, and bring your pajamas. It's a slumber party. Oh, sort of. Don't worry. It's a great idea. You'll have fun. You know, you might want to run this by Mara first. Maybe see if she has a, a good time for it. Catalina? Do you have any idea uh, where Mara might be tonight? If you want to find Mara, why don't you try her cell phone? <laughs> of course. Well, there's an idea. <laughs> I think I have her number on this somewhere. Let me see. What? I thought... I thought you hated this office. 
I love this office. Marla, well, what are you doing? Do I have to explain? Well, wait a minute. What about all those people out there? And, and this isn't romantic. And what if we get caught and all hey, that? Hey, we're just kissing. Let's live dangerously. Come on. Yeah. Look, Mara. I'm sorry you had to see that. I didn't. I didn't want you to. I didn't want to fight that hey. guy. I didn't. Hey, I was glad I was there. Why? What? Why were you glad you saw me hit someone? No way, it's my dad. That's your dad? Yeah, don't worry, I, I just shut it off. Well, maybe you should pick it up. What? It could be important. Oh, great. So now you're, you're like my dad's big buddy. No, no, I'm not your dad's big buddy, but he's gonna wonder why you didn't pick up the phone. And if he finds out you're with me, and you, he knows you blew him I off, that's tell. trouble. What are you... Mara, come on, it's gonna take two minutes. Just answer the phone. Am I bugging you? Do you need a break or something? No, Ma, that's not it at all. I'm just trying to make things okay for you and our family, baby. Come on. No, not for me, because this is not what I want. And it's obvious what you don't want. Ma, please, don't act like this. Come here. Don't act like this is... I feel rejected, because that is how I feel. Mara, I'm trying to make things work for us, okay? Come on, don't be like that. Well, then why don't you call my dad and decide what's best for us? It's number two in the speed dial. Baby, please... Come no, here. Baby, baby, wait a second. No. Don't worry, Dad. We weren't having sex or anything. And for the record, I've never slept with Tony, and I probably never will now. Your plan worked great. Mr. Lewis, I'll Hey, what are you doing? Is there something you want to say to me? Mr. Lewis, I don't... I don't want to... <laughs> Look, the only thing I'm trying to do is write by you guys, all right? I have some bad news for you. You're 0 for 2. What were you doing with my daughter? Okay, Mr. Lewis, this, this isn't what it looks like. Then tell me what it is. Explain it at length. You're just gonna have to take my word Did on... your shirt just bust open all by itself, Tony? Sit down. was obviously upset with you when she left. Why don't you tell me what that was about? Or I'll find out from her. Look, you're just gonna have to trust me. Trust is not a word that comes to mind when I look at you, Tony. You know what? Don't tell me about it, because you know, I don't, I don't really want you to paint me a picture. All we were supposed to have was dinner, Mr. Lewis. That's all I wanted. How did you bruise your knuckles? Did you get in a fight with somebody? Not on purpose, okay? Look, this guy came over to the table, all right? And he started with me. You got to fight with somebody in front of my daughter? Is that why she's upset? No, that's not... Mr. Lewis, look, he came over to me. He wouldn't stop, first of all, all right? What? Okay, let me ask you something. Have you ever gone into a fight with somebody? Over... One day. You've been working for me for one day. And you're throwing that Santos name around. You're throwing your muscle around at my sight. You're doing God knows what with my daughter, and you're getting in fights in front of her. Now, Tony, what are your plans for tomorrow? I didn't plan any of this. Oh, so that means it's not in your control? You can't stop it? I was willing to give you a chance. Now, I don't expect you to become a model citizen in one day, but you better start showing signs of trying, at least trying, Tony, or you're out the door. 